Hello, this is Coach Tyra Woodruff, the Mind Reset Coach, coming to you today from my home office here in Holiday, Florida. And I'm really super excited to bring you this day's verse. I'm, I'm continuing on with my Dow of Network Marketing series. It's a blog video series that I've been doing. Uh, we're on the 27th verse, so for 26 verses. And basically, I'm reading the book, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Wayne Dyer. Studying the Tao alongside of him, along with the uh, another book I have of a translation of the Tao, reading his thoughts and seeing how I can apply the wisdom that Lao Tzu put in the Tao to our network marketing businesses and help us become more successful. How cool is that? Um, the Tao was written by Lao Tzu about 2,500 years ago, just to give you a small background on it. And um, it's considered the handbook for leaders. So. It's perfect for us, right? So let's go ahead and get right into the 27th verse. I'm going to start reading right now. A knower of the truth travels without leaving a trace, speaks without causing harm, gives without keeping an account. The door he shuts, though having no lock, cannot be opened. The knot he ties, though using no cord, cannot be undone. Be wise and help all beings impartially abandoning none, waste no opportunities. This is called following the light. What, what is a good man but a bad man's teacher? What is a bad man but a good man's job? If a teacher is not respected and a student not cared for, confusion will arise, however clever one is. This is the great secret. That totally, just totally freaks me out because um, Last night, when I was dreaming, I was I was like feeling like I was getting messages. Of course, we all have dreams, right? And we all have little messages coming to us in the dream. And one of the things is, and I know this, like intellectually, I know this. I've probably even talked about it in other videos. And I know that I've I know that I've said it before. However, it just it keeps coming back because sometimes you gotta you gotta hear it again to learn it. This totally fits. Let go of what it is that you want, right? You want something, give it away. Um, let me try to explain. When you are not concerned about holding on to something, you open up yourself to receiving more. Okay. Say for instance, it will. I'll give you. I'll give you straight up in my dream. In my dream, I was to come into a large sum of money. Okay. And I was like, sweet, I could use a large sum of money right now. And um, like the, the whatever was telling me about this large sum of money said, are you ready? And inside I, I said to it, I said to it, I said, I am not worried about how I will spend it. I'm not worried about how I will spend it. I know the money that I come into will be spent perfectly and work perfectly for me and the people I care for and for what I want to do with it. I'm not worried about it. You ever notice that sometimes you, you want something so bad? You know how many people go out there and buy a lottery ticket and want so badly to win the jackpot, but they're so afraid because they've heard so many people before have won the lottery and were bankrupt, broke, and addicted to drugs within a year? And we automatically place the winning of the money as the cause of that when that's not the cause of it. The cause of it is the person that was trying to hold on ended up blowing it all. That's very powerful. Now think about it inside of your network marketing business. When you try to hoard your partners or your business or your own knowledge, I see this a lot. People get, they start getting frustrated. I know I've done it. They start getting frustrated because they're not making some money where they think they should be making money or there's a stream of income dries up. Like what happened to me last year, the company stopped paying. Um, it just dries up, it goes away, and the, the other stream of income was just a small stream of income. So it's like, oh no. And you start trying to think of ways that you can make things happen. And instead of giving away all that goodness that you've got to the marketplace and to your team, you start wanting to hoard it and you start wanting to charge people for it. Now, I'm not saying that charging people for it is not good. You should be getting your worth, okay? However, we constantly get ourselves into a bind with this. 
I've seen very talented people refuse to um, to to blog or be of service to the to the to the people in the marketplace because they feel like they should be paying them to for you know for their coaching or something like that and that's just crazy sauce. Yes, you should be paid for your coaching, but however, you should also be providing the marketplace of value because you know what, value's where it's at. Now, am I going to? I might. Am I going to hire a coach that doesn't have any online resources for me to study? Would you buy something that you're not um, seeing the value in? If there is no evidence of value, why would you spend your money? So as a network marketer, you want to be really careful. <coughs> when you see yourself not making um, the commissions that you think you should be making in, in one of your streams of income or in your mainstream of income, it's not about... Uh, wanting to hold on to to things. It's about saying, you know, where is it that I could be adding more value to that situation? Because the more value you add to that situation, the more patience you add to that situation, the better your business will feel, be, and and you'll realize. You know, there's, it, there's, a, there's some times where in your network marketing business you're going to struggle and you're going to say, what the heck? Let go of all that. Stop worrying. You know, do you spend your, your your first major commission so fast in your mind that you're afraid that you're going to lose it? Well, every time that you, you do that, when you say, oh, my first $5,000 day, I'm afraid I won't have enough money to do all the things I want to do or need to do with that money. Well, you just put it off into the universe. There's a larger factor here. The law of attraction is actually a law. It actually is, like... How you vibrate happens. So this this particular verse really helps us to just get trust it. Just stop worrying and start trusting. Um, Wayne Dyer writes in here something about. Um, he said, "Imagine putting your most valuable object on a table in front of a window, and knowing, just knowing, it's fine. It's safe. Feeling safe with it." And letting yourself just be safe with it. Letting yourself just be okay with it. Imagine yourself in network marketing and having just, you know, a wonderful team working together to, to move towards the vision that you all have. And you're moving together and you're moving together. Don't worry about somebody trying to recruit your people. They can't recruit somebody that's not recruitable. Start letting go of the things that you want to hold on to. I used to have some sponsors. Um, I got away from them pretty quickly and they turned out to be like, ah, like haters and everything. And they were really doing a hold on to things like this. You know, that was one of the, the characteristics they had. And it, it, it's, it's just like, when I'm reading this, I'm saying, wow, where is that in me? You know, what part of that did I attract? Of course I attracted it. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame somebody else because everything that we experience is our own, right? And our own experience is everyone's experience. So when you start to just trust that things are all right and trust that you can handle your success and you can handle the times where you're not so successful in the traditional sense of your mind, when you let go and you just trust it, everything's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So today's verse really reminds us to, you know, where it says, when well, you see the bad man, it's the good man's job. You know, teach, teach, teach. Bring some value. You know, where you see lack in your life, add more value to it. Not more um, ego value. More value from yourself to it. Because in the act of giving, it's synonymous with receiving. Stop holding yourself back because... You're under this impression that you, you know, that, that you've got to make all this money. The money's going to come. It's a natural part of the whole thing. It's a side effect of your value. If you're not giving value and all you're doing all day is posting little blah, blah, blahs on Facebook and blah, blah, blahs over here and blah, blah, blahs over there and once every six months holding a hangout and once every freaking once in a while saying something profound... And, you know, in order to even, you know, get any real value out of you, you got to pay. 
you know what? You know, every day when when somebody comes to me and they want to they want to extract value out of me, I've already given value up. I've we're even. We're even. If somebody wants a consultation or to pick my brain, I have confidence because of the amount of value I bring to the marketplace that I can easily say without ever worrying about it. Listen, these are uh, you have to meet a couple of of requirements that I have for people I work directly with. Either you are working with me and we're working together to help make your, your dreams come true and you're part of my business and you're and you're going and you're doing the thing and you're doing what I'm telling you to do or you're going to pay me by the hour. And I only have this many because I don't, you know, I I don't really love to be by the hour. I don't care how I charge quite a bit. I don't care. But to be doing that all the time. So I'm not like, you know, at one point I thought I did because I was really broke and I was freaking out and I, I wanted money. You know what? I'd rather be broke and happy <laughs> knowing that my, my reward is on its way because I know that I'm putting the value in and I know that it's synonymous and it's exactly married to me receiving. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Whenever you feel lack in your business, it's time for you to apply more value to your business with your gifts. It means that you need to blog more. It means you need to make more videos. It means you might need to just put up like a hangout link on your Facebook page that says, I'm hanging out. Who wants to talk about business? You know, maybe that's a, you know, maybe that's what you got to do. Maybe maybe you need to go and get on another webinar and listen to somebody speak and, and, sit and, and expect a golden nugget, even if it's just one. And then write down what you learned and go teach it. Last night I learned something really amazing. I went on a webinar about SEO. And I learned something I had no idea. I thought I knew it all. Oh, I don't love SEO. I'm not a fan of it. I prefer to write from my heart, period. But I do know there's a certain amount of search engine optimization I have to do. And I have plugins on my Kalatu blogging platform that helps me do that. And I do a very small amount of keyword research. I could do better with that, but that's, it, it's okay. I'm still dropping massive value into the marketplace, and it's good. There was a trick, or not a trick, but something I could do to actually help me do better with my blogging traffic. How awesome is that? It would be so awesome to see my normal shares going from like 36 shares to 100 and something shares. It'd be so awesome knowing that more people got to experience the value that I bring to the marketplace than the ones that are already coming. How awesome is that? So don't be greedy with yourself. Know your worth and be prepared to charge people for it. That's my dog, by the way. <laughs> but don't be so greedy that you need to charge people before you ever show them that you're worth anything. That's all. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I want to get out of here 13 minutes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, I want to read a half East poem here. Um, at some point, your relationship with God will become like this. Next time you meet him in the forest or on a crowded street, there, will, there won't be any more leaving. That is, God will climb into your pocket. You will simply just take yourself along. You hear that? I'm going to say that one more time because I really want you... I got chills. I really want you to understand something really powerful about God. And it said it right here. Oh, I love it. At some point, your relationship with God will become like this. Colon. Next time you meet him in the forest or on a crowded street, there won't be any more leaving. No more separation. That is, God will climb into your pocket. And listen to me right now. Listen. Preach it, sister. <laughs> You will simply just take yourself along. That's it for the day, 14 minutes. I love you all very much. If you found some value in this, share it. Leave me a comment. I love to listen to the comments. I love how much you guys are enjoying the series. And uh, don't forget to share it. And um, if you'd like to work with me, I got a really cool bridge video I just made. I'm going to share it with you. You go ahead and watch that bridge video and then you watch the rest and you go ahead and get started with me man i'm ready i'm ready to work with you so i'll see you all later this is coach tara woodruff the mind reset coach coming to you from holiday florida with verse 27 peace